I'm Hannah Floyd and I'm a speech language pathologist and certified brain injury specialist here at San Joaquin Valley Rehabilitation Hospital. Often in these videos, we talk about preventing traumatic brain injury or coping with life after brain injury or stroke, but today I wanna to talk to you about something a little bit different, something that comes from the realm of cognitive health and maintenance, specifically the theory of cognitive reserve. It's been something that researchers have been studying since at least the 1980s. And the idea of cognitive reserve has to do with your brain's ability to problem solve and think flexibly and improvise and overcome cognitive challenges when faced with them by changing the way that your brain operates, like taking um, different shortcuts and different routes to solve a problem. While it originally came from the field of aging and dementia, cognitive reserve has also now been applied in the research to things like Parkinson's and traumatic brain injury and multiple sclerosis and stroke recovery as well. Cognitive reserve can help to explain why two individuals with the exact same type, location, and severity of brain injury can present so functionally different. The good news is that we can build and maintain our cognitive reserve by living lifestyles that are socially engaging and intellectually stimulating, and that's across the whole lifespan. The idea that we can continue to keep our brains working as well as we can for as long as we can just by changing those habits is pretty exciting.